sorry if the air is loud, but even though I'm in the fall mood and I'm completely ready for fall, South Carolina is not. South Carolina is like we are still in summer, girl, and you have got to get it together. So, air condition is cranked all the way up. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, but at least it's a spooky t-shirt. Um, so basically, I was sick last weekend um, in my previous vlog, like ending that, I was sick. And so we're starting back up a new week. I still kind of have a stuffy nose, but it's really not that bad. But I just got to the boys' school, and I'm waiting for them to get out. I have about 45 minutes to sit here and wait. So I'm going to take the time to read, and I'm going to go ahead and start Casket Case by Lauren Evans. I'm really excited about this one. It seems really cute and quirky. I did read the first few sentences just to make sure that it had uploaded on here, but I am super stoked about it because it seems really, really cute. So I'm gonna get to that and I will update you guys. I'm trying to decide, but I'm thinking that we're just gonna go ahead and do it. When Tegan gets out, I have to take him straight to therapy and he's gonna have his physical therapy appointment. And I'm thinking I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble because I wanna see if Wisteria is already out early because I'm curious. If not, I'm still gonna go tomorrow while Tegan's in therapy and get it then. I also wanna see if they have Haunted Ever After by Jen DeLuca because I got the audiobook through Libro FM um, as an ALK and so I really wanna try and get to that one too if I can make it fit. So it's all just gonna depend on if Barnes & Noble has it and you know, if I'm able to get to it. But. I will be back with an update. Sorry if it's really dark in here now. Um, I think it's gonna storm today because the clouds are definitely coming out. But I just dropped Tegan off at therapy and I'm on my way to Barnes & Noble um, to see if we can find these books that I'm looking for. I'm kind of hoping Wisteria is out, but I have a feeling that it's not gonna be out early. I swear you would think that one would be strict on sale um, just because Adeline Grace and the Belladonna series is a very popular series. She's a very popular author. So I just wouldn't think it would be out early, but I know some people have found it out early at Walmart and Target. So I'm gonna have my fingers crossed and pray that I find it. But if not, I hope I can at least get Haunted Ever After. Okay, so I went to Barnes & Noble and one of my friends, Brittany, was working. I love her. She has a bookstagram and I've seen her through that and then she works at the Barnes & Noble near me. So I just, yeah, anytime she's working, I'm like, hallelujah, I don't have to ask anybody a question. I can just go to Brittany. But sadly, Wisteria is strict on sale. So they can't sell it until tomorrow. That's just the rules of like working with publishers as a bookstore but they did have a copy of haunted ever after so i went ahead and got it it looks so cute i love this cover i hope you can see it but there's like a little ghost in the background and it just sounds like it's going to be really fun it's love at first haunting and this is a new series apparently so i'm hoping that means like next year i can read the next book in the series but barnes and noble is also having their hardcover sale right now where a lot of their hardcovers are 50 percent off usually they have them in specific spots and they're marked down so you know which ones are in the sale and i ended up getting two of them did i need them no but I am going to read them um, hopefully soon for this one. But I went ahead and got Bless Your Heart by Lindy Ryan. I have checked this book out from the library, but my hold is almost up. And I don't think that I'm going to get to it before my hold goes up. So I really want to read this and fit it in soon. Um, so I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. And it was only $14, which is pretty good for a hardcover that's in perfect condition. And this is also another one that I've been looking at for a while and haven't gotten. It, I've literally looked at it so many times going book shopping and that is Night of the Witch by Sarah Roche and Beth Revis. I love, love, love Witch and Witch Hunter. 
romance tropes and this is a witch should never fall for her hunter this is book one in a series and i just rachel griffin and trisha levenseller and jennifer armantrout claire legrand they've all blurbed it and it just sounds so good so i really want to make this one work and get to it as well at some point soon so I had to do it and it was only nine dollars so again another hardback in perfect condition so i couldn't resist but i'm still reading casket case really enjoying it really getting into it it's so cute it's so swoony right now and the mystery is starting to kick in a little bit so i'm excited to continue reading it and see how it goes um tegan is about to get out of therapy and we're gonna go pick up his brother from band practice and then I'm going to be heading home pretty soon after that because I'm going to be joining Liv and one of her patrons, Sam, over on her Patreon for sprints tonight. So, super excited about it. So, I was hoping to update you guys yesterday, but I literally got home and then I hopped immediately onto Liv's Patreon sprints for her readathon this week. And I just completely forgot to update by the end of the night and I was I was too tired so anyway while I was reading um things started really picking up in casket case so this is gonna be a spoiler vlog so if you are watching at this point there will be spoilers mentioned I will try and say something about them before I say anything so if you don't want to hear any spoilers for casket case now is the time to hop off or meet me um <clears throat> but I made it like 20% in and the couple the main characters had already been on one first date and they had already kissed and then they were going on their second date and they were acting like they were about to get it on and then coming on the third date we're uh, again about to act like they're about to get it on and I'm like we're not even 25% into this book there has been no pining y'all have just immediately fallen in love or like decided you like each other and now we're about to do it I was very confused it seemed very insta lovey very just too much and just basically that outweighed the good of the book there were a lot of moments that I liked where they were mentioning like general hospital um which is something reminiscent from like my childhood and my mom watching it and then also there were parts about you know just different things like Dixie Chicks listening to them in the car and I was like I can so relate to that there was just a lot of stuff that just was so good and I feel like it would have been better if it didn't have the insta love that was in the book because that literally ruined the whole thing for me and I just couldn't handle it it was too much and I was like they're literally they don't know anything about each other they don't even know each other's last names like you don't you're not learning what they're learning I guess you're just expected to know that they're no that they know each other I don't really understand so anyway we DNF that book um because honestly I don't think it would be any higher than a three-star read and I just I don't know I just want to fill my life with as many four and five star reads as I can so I really don't have a lot that aren't four and five stars for me um rarely do I get through a book that is a three or lower because I just decide not to finish it because I just don't have time for that I there are too many books in the world for me to read so anyway I put that down and picked up happy medium I'm about 112 pages into it and I'm really enjoying it right now um the setting is on a farm and it definitely it's on a goat farm so it's definitely reminiscent of part of your world for me I'm really enjoying the setting and you have like a city girl or a girl who's not used to being on farms coming to a farm and she's helping out and it's just like yeah okay this is definitely kind of giving me part of your world vibes but I didn't like it's kind of to me would if I had to tell you exactly what this book what kind of vibes this book is giving me I would say part of your world meets um the dead romantics and I'm loving it so I really think that I could possibly finish this today if I put my mind to it I have two hours and 50 minutes of the audiobook left so I'm going to read for about 15 more minutes before 
Tegan gets out of school. And then I'm going to go swing by Barnes & Noble, like I mentioned yesterday. Because Wisteria is out today. And I'm going to grab my copy. And then I'm going to come back and read some more. And just see how far I can get into it. Um, and then we'll see what I'm going to read from there. Uh, I really want to replace Casket Case with another book since that one was a DNF and just didn't work. So we might try and fit in another book, but I'm definitely going to read The Haunted Ever After um, by Jen DeLuca first. So I will tell y'all what the next book will be if we can get to it. Oh my gosh, it's been a day. I meant to have updated y'all sooner, but it's literally been a long day. We're still trying to get um accustomed or like acclimated to the boys schedule because since high school has changed it's been a little bit different with trying to get to therapy um at a normal time for them like physical therapy and having to take Tyler along with us and it's just been kind of hectic um because Tyler's in marching band right now and there's just a lot going on so it's a lot of running around and just busy schedules so it's a lot of driving and I wasn't prepared for that so we're just trying to get used to that routine but we're starting to get into the hang of it this is their second full week of school so we're starting to get into the routine but anyway I've been reading I promise I have so we are now so close to being done with happy medium I have less than 100 pages left I believe we're almost to less than 100 pages we are almost to page 300 so I have I think it's almost right at an hour left of this so we're about to knock this out and I also picked up foxglove last night I was talking to Olivia and I was just getting bummed because I was so looking forward to casket case and the fact that it just fell short for me and I had to DNF it was upsetting and so she was in the middle of reading Foxglove as well as my friend Elizabeth. She is rereading it. And then Rachel is, she just read Belladonna. So she's starting Foxglove. And I was like, I'm getting FOMO. I want to join in. And she's like, girl, you can count that as a fall um, romance because it is like a young adult fantasy romance. And there are fall leaves, like it takes place in fall. So this is going to be added on to my TBR and my fall romance reads. So I made it about 50 pages into Foxglove. I love this hardcover, like with no dust jacket. It's so pretty. Um, you can see like the leaves on there that are fall and stuff. So I'm really excited. I only read 50 pages of it last night, but that was because I had read like over 100 pages in Happy Medium. So we're gonna get back into this one. Um, it's getting good. I, it's not like a third act breakup because our couple isn't necessarily together yet, but I can tell something like it's gonna happen. There's a lot of tension building and I can just tell that our main character is about to have like a big realization. So I'm ready for that moment to come and then hopefully they can get together but I like the slow burn that this one is so I'm really enjoying that um and then I had to read like a synopsis of Belladonna um to remember everything that happened because I read that one last year and I just needed a recap so I found um one that Olivia sent me and it really helped and so I know what's going on now I know what's happening and y'all if y'all have read this, you guys will know that the main, one of the main characters is Death. And he gives such Thomas Shelby vibes from Peaky Blinders. And I love that so freaking much. I was literally on page 11 reading one line. And it sent me into a absolute tirade because I could not stop blushing. And I'm like, he's not even talking to me. But I could just picture Thomas Shelby saying it. And it was everything I needed. So the goal is finish Happy Medium tonight. And hopefully I'll be back with an update on that. And then I'm going to continue reading more of Foxglove. And then tomorrow I'm going to try and start the Jen DeLuca book, Haunted Ever After. That one is very short. So I'm hoping I can read it within like a day or so. Um, and we can just finish Foxglove and then wrap this up. But I am just 
enjoying my reads so far. I feel like I've done the perfect kind of transition books. Like I read those cozy fall books um, that were transitioning from summer to fall. And now we're getting into more fall themed books and fall romance is so cute. So I'm having the best time ever with it. Peanut butter. This is why we can't have nice things. It's the end of another day and I'm just now getting back to y'all. But again, just kind of a crazy running around type of day. But I'm home, pajamas are on, hair is thrown up, and we're getting ready to read. I am about 86 pages into Foxglove. Really enjoying it, really liking it. I think I'm gonna try and get to page 100 tonight. It is just now nine o'clock. I'm gonna try and read some more of that, get to a page 100, and then I'm gonna start Haunted Ever After by Jen DeLuca. I went and picked this up because I decided I was gonna throw this in alongside Happy Medium and Casket Case, but then when Casket Case didn't work out, we added Fox Gloves, so. This book is less than 300 pages. I think it's only like 265 or something around that. But it sounds so cute and I'm just excited to get to it because for one, Ashley Poston um, blurbed it and I feel like this is definitely the type of book that she would write. So I'm excited. But I really wanna try and see if it's possible for me to binge this book between today and tomorrow. I do have the audio. I got it from Libro FM as an ALK and I'm really excited about it. So I wanna try and binge read it and see if I can do that because I really want to let Olivia borrow this one because she hasn't been able to get her hands on a physical copy yet. So we're gonna see if I can do that. I am going over to her house tomorrow to watch Beetlejuice. It's her first time ever watching it and it is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm super excited to watch it and to see her watch it. It's very quirky, very out there if you haven't seen it before, but I love it. Um, I was also going to show you guys this bookmark that I made. Olivia, for her Patreon readathon that is going on this weekend, decided to do a craft knot. And so I went and got some stuff. She was doing make your own bookmarks. Um, and so I wanted to do like a cozy fantasy type vibe, but I quickly realized that like putting more than one charm on these bookmarks doesn't always work. So I only did one charm, but I picked out this like cobblestone looking bookmark that is so cute. And then I put a bunch of different beads and like clay matte um beads but they're like flat uh but i did like a few of those and then i have a little pine cone that is at the bottom so it's like just a very earth tone type of bookmark but it fits perfectly in any book in foxglove and just hangs and it's so cute and it just adds to the ambience of the book
you're gonna get behind the scene footage of what happened basically 10 minutes after I turned the camera off. The bookmark fell apart, all the beads fell, they're back in here, so that was a disaster. But I'm gonna remake it right now. I have my ambiance playing in the background. It's like a fall country cabin in the woods, kind of, you know, like country-esque. I'm also still listening to Haunted Ever After. I'm 22% in. I am enjoying it, so I'm gonna continue with it and try and finish this one up first. Um, and then, yeah, I will physically read it once I get done with this bookmark, and then we'll move back on to Foxglove, so wish me luck. <sighs> okay, if you don't want any spoilers, for Haunted Ever After, now is the time to mute me or skip the par this part in the video because I'm going to talk about this one for a little bit. So, Haunted Ever After, we're following Cassie who, she has lived in Florida her whole life in Orlando, but she is moving to this place called Boneyard Keys. And Nick has lived in Boneyard Keys his whole life. Um, it's known as like a very haunted town. There's like ghosts everywhere. They believe in like ghosts and mermaids and different things like that. And it's not weird to Nick because he's lived here his whole life. And Nick owns this coffee shop and that's how he meets Cassie. And he finds out Cassie is renovating and living in this home that used to be haunted. And we just are at the part, I'm just at the part, I'm like 30% in. So I'm almost a third of the way through and I just found out that Nick's roommate and Nick's old boss are the same person. They are a ghost. His name is Elmer. Elmer owned the coffee shop and Nick took it over after he died. But Nick gets texts from Elmer. Elmer's texting him all the time saying like, don't put cinnamon in the banana bread. It was gross. Like, he just texted him back and forth. And it's just funny to have like that um, dynamic of his roommate and basically best friend in this town is a ghost. And so Cassie just found that out. I would also find that very hard to believe. I'd be like, mm, that's a little strange, a little weird, a little out there. So I don't blame her for being hesitant, but they went on a date and it's just been really cute so far. Um, and yeah, it's picking up. So it's very good pacing. This is giving me dead romantics vibes, but with something else mixed in as well. I can't necessarily say yet what I think, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna keep going with this one and hopefully finish it up and we'll see how it went, how it goes. I also wanted to show you guys that I finished my second bookmark. I finally got it back together after it fell apart, but the beads are very blue and green. I have this charm on the end that's like a teal butterfly, but it just came out looking really cute. So. I'm definitely going to continue using it. Um, I still have a lot of leftover charms, so I definitely will be getting more beads for them. But it's kind of nice to buy just like the string of like pre-put together beads at Hobby Lobby. Because I can figure out like what kind of color scheme I want. And I don't have to think too hard about that. Because I'm not a very good creative type person with that. I need directions. Okay, sorry that the lighting is so yellow, but I am trying to film this outro clip really quickly before I edit this vlog so this is what we're dealing with. I'm here to say I finished two books. I was gonna put foxglove and stuff in here but I decided to just keep reading it and not put it in the vlog um, just because it's gonna take me a little bit longer to read and I don't really want to talk about spoilers with that one since it's the second in a series so yeah but anyway <laughs> to wrap up what I've read is I've had a DNF and two reads. Um, I read 25% of Casket Case by Lauren Evans and DNF'd it. It was very insta-lovey. Um, I was really enjoying it because, again, I've talked about this, but they had a lot of, like, nostalgic things from, like, childhood that I really loved in it, and that added a lot to, I think, the story. Um, and it was very cute how it was, like, this guy's working for death, and this girl is, like, running a funeral home, basically. Well, not really a funeral home. She just sells caskets, so that's a little bit different. But that part was really cool, but they literally were just too into each other right away, and it gave no pining or no, like, chase, and I just... 
I just don't, I'm not a person who believes in love at first sight. Like, I really don't. I think that you can be attracted to somebody and you can like them, but I just don't believe that you love someone when you see them for the first time. You know? But then, as you guys know, I picked up Happy Medium by Sarah Adler. This is also the author of Mr. Nash's Ashes. I haven't read that one, but this was a five-star read for me. Absolutely loved it. Lo I said that it was kind of part of your world meets um, the dead romantics, and that is still true. There was a lot of heart and thought put into this book, and there's a lot of plot. It's not just romance. There is stuff that our main character, um, Charlie, is going through, and Gretchen is going through and that they are going through together so there's a lot more to the story than just the romance. I feel like if you like Abby Jimenez, if you like K.A. Tucker, um, authors like that, I think you'll like this book. It was so good, so good. I just love the realness of Gretchen and also the fact that Gretchen is not like a great person. Um, in the beginning, I also love that because I feel like we're always following main characters who just either are the best people around and just nobody loves them but Gretchen had her flaws and she had to work through those flaws so that was nice to see. And then I finished this one today and that is Haunted Ever After by Jen DeLuca. Um, I was telling you guys a little what this one was about and it was really good. I think I'm going to give it, I've gone between 4 and 4.5 stars, but I think I'm going to settle on 4, I think. I literally can't decide. I feel like maybe I should just do like 4.25. I'm usually not a person that goes by like 0.25 increments, but I usually just do like a 4 or 4.5 or a 5 or you know three and a half or whatever but I think I'm gonna do a 4.25 because it was almost like as good as 4.5 it was almost good enough to be a 4.5 but there was still like a little bit that I was just not vibing with I think it took me a while to connect to these characters and the story even though um I, this is only like 300 pages and so I really liked them I just didn't really care that much you know and I think it was also coming off of like reading happy medium and being so in love with this book I'm definitely not a person who should read like one genre back to back to back um, because I just compare too quickly and I don't want to do that. But I really like this one because again we have two separate characters Nick and um, Cassie who have their own kind of problems that they're situate like in situations that they're dealing with and they're working through that and then they're also working together on a few things but I really liked the plot and the build up it wasn't too insta lovey especially for like a 300 page book we had a lot of working towards the relationship um I liked having the side characters this kind of felt like it had a Gilmore Girls kind of vibe because it's a very small town that is very quirky and not a lot of people will like survive it but those who have been around forever tend to um and it had just ghosts that were fun to see and talk to and you know get to know about um and it did have a few moments that made me want to tear up a little bit so who knows, we may end up bumping up this one to 4.5, but I really liked how it came together in the end. This is the first one in a series, so I do expect more from Jen DeLuca, and I do have a kind of, I have a hypothesis of who, a guess of who is the next book will be about and I'm curious to see if I'm right but I do think both this one and Happy Medium are worth picking up. So hopefully you guys liked the video and liked seeing me read fall romance books. I feel like there are a ton out. There's still a lot out that I haven't gotten to in previous years but I'm hoping to this year but I'm so glad with being able to read two that are out and about now um this year and they were very good very high rated reads and at least i gave the casket case one a try um but that's not saying that it won't be for you but if there are any other suggestions of video ideas that you would like to see if there's vlog themes that you would like to see that I don't already have coming up this fall definitely let me know in the comments down below let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them or if I have now encouraged you to pick up one of them but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one peanut butter say bye say bye bye